Okay, I'm back after keying my credit card or debit card account with a master. Um, now I'm landing in this screen, so I'm getting automatic credit for four hundred dollars. Um, yeah, it seems three hundred dollars, but I'm not sure if it is a sing dollar. Okay, uh, it should could be sing dollar, uh, sing dollar. Uh, 300 US dollar to sing dollar. Yeah. 300 USD to SD. How much is it? Yeah, four and nine, four or five. Okay, so this should be a Singapore dollar. Okay, cool. Uh, so it's now by default linked to this project ISS IPA that we created. Let's activate it. Yes, uh, you are one stop to unlocking your. You won't be charged until you won't be charged until you're free on uh, the uh, so I think upgrade. Okay, we need to upgrade in order to use uh have success upgraded your account. Upgrade. Uh, it's not necessary to upgrade. Um I think uh, if you don't upgrade, it's still fine. But if you want to use GPU, you need to upgrade. If you don't want to use GPU, you just use this four hundred sing dollar. Uh, then don't need you don't need to upgrade it. Okay, uh, upgrade I cannot undo. Uh, never mind. Let's move on. Let's see if it can work. But for you, uh, you can choose not to upgrade. So we have uh, this API required billing, so we should have uh, enabled the billing, then we run this code again. Run this code again, I don't know, shift enter, let's run it again. Ah, it's returning the re results, not low, so we are fine, everything we have been set up. Um, that's great. Labels, text, form, media, blah blah blah. Uh, so this is what we see in the text form. Scores is so this uh, this picture is largely recognized by Google Vision API as text. It contain a lot of text. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Next, uh, next is landmark detection. So let's run the landmark detection. Landmark detection. You see the uh, stator. Statue of Liberty. Uh, landmark detect of my picture, no landmark. Logo detection. Let's see, have a look at logo detection. ISSGZ. So, lo logo NUS, Facebook, Twitter, wrong circle. So, it identified NUS, uh, which is cool, uh, improved. Last time it was uh, uh, NUS business, but this time it's more accurate again. Yeah. Anyways, so text. So let's have a look at text. What is being extracted? This is the original um, version of uh, text detection. Let's have a look. Okay, okay. Institute of System Science. Very good. National University of Singapore. My name. My profile. Yes, this majority are, are fine. Majority is fine. Next is face detection. Uh, face detection. So instead of using a local face detection, now we are using a cloud face detection. Okay. Highlight face, AD face detection. So we look at this particular picture to identify faces. This is the picture that we want to identify. There is quite a number of faces. So now let's move on. We key in this picture. See what they have. They are fine, fine faces right to this uh, image. So let's display this image. So you find the top 10 faces. Top 10 faces. Um, the number of faces are limited to 10. Uh, it's likely because uh, the free API that we are calling. Uh, uh, face detection. Emotions. Let's have a look at the 10 faces emotions. Okay, they identify the 10 faces where the face is based on the coordination of the pixel. Anger, very unlikely. 
very likely joy. Second phase cannot tell, very likely joy. Majority of them are very likely joy. Like, uh, everyone looks very happily on our website. So document. So let's have a look at the tax, document tax detection. Okay, we have identified these. Document tax. Discover life with us. So, this here was being detected. Safe search detection. Look at this picture. Very unlikely. Another picture is a, another woman in the a woman in the, the suit yeah, in the swimming suit. So it's likely to be either unlikely, unlikely, very unlikely. Very likely is racing. Yeah, racing in English means uh, this uh, adjective, sexy, uh, entertaining, lively. Okay. So web detection. Can use a vision to detect the web. So for this particular famous image, let's see what can we find the web footprint, uh, web presence of this image. Best guess label Lina. Ten pages match the image found. A lot of pages. Fun. Okay, we can click one of them. Have a look. Let me watch through the computer world. Then, famous image, famous image, a famous image used in computer vision. Liberty, grandma object. Recognize here for my LinkedIn CV. LinkedIn CV. And so on. This is wrapping the all the functions into uh, to function used by to be used by a virtual assistant. Okay, um, so we'll be stopping here. So we have managed to to run this uh, face emotion analysis and by enabling the, the Google API uh, on the Google Cloud. Okay, so in the Google Cloud, you, first you need a email, Google email. Then after having the Google email, after you sign on, you create the project. Let's have a look at the projects. So first, you will need an email. You log on the email. Then you create a project. You create a project. Now you can you can say I want a new project. And say I want to add a new project. Now once you have a new project, then you go to the project billing, uh, billing. You enable a billing account, uh, and you can receive your 300 US dollar uh, voucher. And after that, uh, you enable the API. So where to find the API? Is API management. Yeah. Uh, API and the services, API credentials, uh, API and the services, API and the services. Currently, what are the APIs enabled? We have this enabled API. So earlier we have enabled the uh, Google Vision API. So we need to enable some more. For example, we say. Language. Say we want a language, natural language. Okay. There is a 
button. Here is the button for enable. So now enable language API. Then one more API is. Video intelligence API. This is called video intelligence API. Let's enable it. That is speech. Speech API. Allow speech to text and text to speech. Going to enable both. To enable it. This is speech to text. Can we enable text to speech? Text to speech API. Now we can enable translation API. Translation API. Overall, it should be fine. Now we have enabled many, many APIs. Translation APIs, API services, dashboard. We have a lot. So we have enabled many, many of the APIs that we'll be using in the in the workshop and the course. There are so many, many newly installed APIs, video intelligence, speech to text. Okay, then in the credential part, we need to create this credential. So this is the ID that I've created. Um, uh, yeah, this is the one. I guess this is a secret one, so uh, for demo purpose only. Now, for you, you need to create a, a new ID and create credentials. Create a service account key. Uh, create a service account key, select the uh, so that is project and JSON can create. Uh, you can create another key for this uh, project. So that's it. Uh, after that, you actually receive the file downloaded to your to your machine. Uh, and then you open it. You can have a look. This is the file. So when you are using the the key in your code, here in the code, you have to uh, tell the program where to find the key. And the key is uh, is here. Uh, you need to tell the the code, uh, to be the notebook, the Python code, where this particular key is located. Uh, the JSON file is located. Okay, that's it. Um, uh, I think now it should be fine to continue with uh, the workshop using the Cloud API. Okay. Uh, see you later.